everyone, I am China Jamdagni and today I am going to tell you the different parts of a circle. So let's get started. So I am going to give different color to every different part of the circle. Let's start by drawing a circle. So I have drawn my circle. Now the purple outline of my circle, that is called the circumference. Now, the circumference is basically the perimeter of the circle. And its formula is 2 pi r or pi d, where r stands for the radius and d stands for diameter. And pi, the value of pi that is taken is 3.14 and its approximate value in fraction is 22 by 7. Next we have is the radius. No, first we'll mention the center. So the place where we kept the tip of our compass is the center. So I've taken point A as my center. And I need to mention it over here. From the center to the circumference will extend the line to a point say B. So AB is our radius. Radius is basically the length of the compass that we open to draw a circle. The next we have is a diameter. A diameter is the longest cord and it always passes through the center. One of its ends lies on one side of the circumference and the other point lies on the other side. So I'm going to mark it as C, D. So C, D is our diameter. Diameter is basically twice the length of our radius. The next thing we have the ne is the chord. Chord is basically a line segment that is joined from one end of the circumference to the other and like i said the longest chord is the diameter so my diameter sorry <laughs> chord is ef did you write it here chord. next part of the circle is our arc so this area this part that I have darkened with brown color. This is our arc. Now arc has also two parts, major arc and minor arc. So the smaller arc that I have here, EF, smaller arc, that's our minor arc and the bigger one, this area, it's our major arc. The next part we have is a segment. So the area covered over here between this chord and this arc that is our segment segment also has two parts major segment and minor segment so the small area that i've shaded it's my minor segment and the larger area that's the major segment the next thing we have is a sector sector is basically the area covered between two radiuses and an arc. So these are my two radius from point A to point G and H. And the area covered, this area, this hole is my sector. My sector also has two parts, major and minor. So the smaller area covered that's a minor sector and the larger area covered the major sector next part we have is a tangent tangent is a line that leaves the circle at a single point so i'll mark this as x y and it meets a single point z though in this figure it might appear that it's meeting at several points but a tangent actually just touches a single point so 
The next part we have is a tangent. So these are all the different parts of a circle. Now the last thing I'm going to tell you is about the area of a circle. Area of a circle has a simple formula. And that is pi r square where we already discussed the value of pi which was 3.14 and radius square. These were all the different parts of a circle. Hope you learned something very important. Thank you for watching.